I've given you guys an update, but I am 37 weeks today and I had my doctor's appointment today and she is looking to be about six and a half pounds right now. And I will be having a C-section in two weeks on the 25th and I'm so excited. I'm so ready. I feel so squished and really she's my smallest baby so far. My boys were eight five and eight six. A couple of things I'm gonna be talking about in this video, I'm gonna cover um, pregnancy after gastric sleeve. Um, I'm gonna be covering hand expressing colostrum while pregnant and like update on baby. So at 37 weeks, I am 225 pounds at my doctor's office though. My scale here is a little bit different, but if we're going off of my doctor's office scale, then technically I have only gained five pounds this entire pregnancy. Well, I got pregnant four months after gastric sleeve. I had gastric sleeve April 28th, 2021. And four months later, I got pregnant. But in between that time, I had blood work done to check all my vitamins and see how I was doing on that. And I had a talk with my doctor about um, if it was like healthy, if I was to get pregnant. So I had someone ask me whether it's healthier to get pregnant before or after gastric sleeve. And I know I had the same thoughts because um, I, me and my husband were like, he's been supportive this whole time, but I was talking to him about it before surgery and I was like, well, if I'm, if I, we want more kids, I would rather have the kids first and then lose weight. Well, I got pregnant before gastric sleeve and I ended up miscarrying and I was 285 pounds and I really got to thinking about it and I was like, man, I'm miserable like right now. So add a pregnancy on that. And then I was like, I just, I think I need to go ahead and have the surgery and lose weight first. It was really the miscarriage was the deciding factor for me. Cause I was like, I'm, I don't want to go through this again. I want to be healthier before I have a baby. So we decided to go ahead and go with the surgery first. Um, I did not plan on getting pregnant that soon after the surgery. I knew that they wanted you to wait 18 months. That's what they tell you. But that's another reason why I kept, um, I had them check my vitamins and stuff. Cause that's really what the, the worry is, is that cause you're eating less. Are you getting all the vitamins you need? Thankfully, all of my blood work was great, came back perfect. So here we are, 37 weeks pregnant now. But um, in my personal opinion, for what I've been through after the loss before the surgery, I am so glad that I decided to get pregnant after I lost weight. Because by the time I got pregnant, I had lost 76 pounds and felt amazing. This entire pregnancy has been so different than my last two. I have two boys. It doesn't even compare. Like I have only had like swelling, if you even want to call it that, on my feet after being on my feet for a long time. One time. The swelling has been like nothing. And I swelled really bad with both of my boys. So this time around, I'm just like, wow, this is nice. <laughs> when it comes to restrictions on, if you don't know what the gastric sleeve is, it's where they get rid of 80% of your stomach, like your actual stomach, and they cut it into like this banana shape. So you have a way smaller stomach and you can only hold like four to six ounces um, after surgery and stuff. and. In the beginning um, of pregnancy, it was it was hard to. I felt like I wasn't eating enough. Um, I also was nauseous too, so that didn't help. But she always 
was on track for her for her weight and her growth so in my experience even though i couldn't eat as much and i felt like nauseous and stuff she was doing okay second trimester hit i could eat way more um i started eating quite a bit and i I, in the, in the very, very beginning, I was still like, you know, strict on with my diet and like hardly any sugar at all, lots of protein. And then I got to a point where I was like, man, what, even if I do have this or that, it's not really going to make a huge difference because I can only have a tiny bit of it. So I started eating pretty much anything I wanted, but Honestly, sugar has always just made me feel blah. So I wasn't drawn to sugar, um, but I was able to eat more of a variety of food instead of sticking to the same foods that I always ate. In my third trimester, I still eat like pretty much whatever I want. My go-to has just been yogurt and string cheese. I love yogurt and string cheese. Anyways, whenever I started, Whenever I got pregnant, I was 220. I lost, I got down to 209 during my first trimester, and now I'm at 225. So I've gained 16 pounds from that, but I'm only five pounds more than I was pre pregnancy. I think I've covered important questions whenever it comes to pregnancy with gastric sleeve surgery um if i haven't and you still have questions just ask me and i can make another video and answer those questions um because i can't think of anything right now that i've missed i really i really can't think of any let's discuss hand expressing colostrum during pregnancy so i actually just learned about this this pregnancy i had no idea i i was able to do this my first two pregnancies um whenever i had the boys i with my first it was 11 years ago i didn't know what i was doing i was really young so that breastfeeding journey was pretty much not gonna work second go around three years ago um i really wanted to breastfeed and i thought i knew everything about it my son went and latch and so I was pumping a lot and I just never made enough for him. Both times the hospitals gave my baby's formula and I feel like that really had a lot to do with my chances being very slim because they weren't latching, they weren't getting anything from me. Um, I even tried with my second a shield, um, I think he latched just <clears throat> a handful of times on the shield, it was just I was really depressed. I was also on um, postpartum like antidepressants because I was super depressed and I feel like this time around I actually have a chance and so I looked into hand expressing colostrum beforehand that way whenever I'm in the hospital after my c-section and if she's having trouble latching right away she's not getting enough and they start to bring up the formula talk I'm gonna be like nope. <laughs> I am gonna come prepared. So I started hand expressing um, in April. I can't remember exactly how many weeks I was, 33 or 34 weeks. I started hand expressing colostrum and I got these um, one milliliter syringes off of Amazon. They all came like in a package like this with, with uh, the caps. Make sure you get the caps if you get these. But I went ahead and ordered these and um, I've been starting to collect because I really want to breastfeed and I feel like if I start doing this now then it'll just up my supply and I'll have a better chance at being able to breastfeed because I, I never produced a whole lot with my um, my second son. But um, this is definitely something that you want to talk to your uh, doctor about because a lot of doctors will probably be like, no, wait till you're full, uh, not full, wait till you're, oh my gosh, what am I trying to say? Yeah, 
full term. Yes. Pregnancy brain. Um, they want you, a lot of doctors want you to wait just because they say that it could throw you into preterm labor. Um, whenever I first started doing this, I did it for a couple of days and then I started feeling like crampy and contractions. So I stopped for like a week and then started doing it again. Now that I'm 38 weeks, I do it regardless if I'm cramping or not because she's going to be here in two weeks. It, it doesn't bother me if I'm starting to cramp and stuff. If you don't know what colostrum is, it's actually what you make before you deliver your baby. Um, whenever you deliver your baby and your placenta is like gone, that's whenever your body kicks in to say we need to start making milk. Colostrum has a whole lot of benefits. You definitely need to look at the videos on YouTube, look it up. It's amazing what it can do. Um, and I'm just, I'm in shock that I've, I've been able to even get one syringe like I, whenever I first did it and I filled one syringe like I used a spoon at first like I would hand express and use a spoon to collect it and I remember thinking like oh my gosh like whenever I filled one of these up I cried like I was so excited and this might not be a lot to some it might be a ton to some others because everyone's so different to me like my goal would to be um get this whole thing filled up before she gets here in two weeks um, because they eat anywhere from five to seven milliliters on their first day per feeding and these are just one milliliter each so like five of these is like that much right here so I want to be able to have enough for three days there just in case I need it but yes that is what I've been doing with the hand expressing classroom there is like websites that you can go to on Google that will show you how to do it. Um, not everything can be shown on YouTube, but I would definitely look into it and see if it's something that you would be interested in. If you're as desperate as me as to breastfeed this go around, I would definitely look into it. Now let's see my baby bump. So this is my baby bump. And I feel like she has dropped some. Um, also, since losing weight, uh, all of like, like this is all hard right here. And then when we get down here, it gets softer and fluffier and that's where it pushed all the fat. So all of my stomach fat that I did have is now down here and it's, I hate it. I really do. But thank God for shapewear because I can hide that whenever I'm wearing dresses or something. But this is from the front. This is my scar from the gastric sleeve. My um, my scars uh, bumped up, all of them. So there's one right there too. I forgot what it's called. I It's really late, so I can't really remember everything. But yep, this is my baby bump after losing 76 pounds and gaining 15 of that total back but it'll be gone once she's here. Mark my words, no, I'm just kidding. If there is anything that I've missed that you're really curious about, feel free to ask me because I, I should have wrote a list down, but I completely forgot to write down a list and I'm sure I left something out, but hopefully this helps somebody. Thanks for watching and um, I, don't know if I'm going to be making another video until she's here. So unless you guys have questions, of course, but my next video might be meeting my baby and I'm super excited. We'll talk to y'all later.